Hello and good evening. I am Shruti Kamath Dalal and you are watching Goa 365. First our headlines. Was Scarlett drowned after being assaulted? Police directed to investigate homicidal death. Two lose their life in the road accident. Associated Chambers of Commerce and Industry of India urges the government not to close doors in SEZs in Goa. We also have Goa that was. Now for the news in detail. Top police officers has directed the Anjuna police to register a case of murder upon the report of the three member medical team who conducted the second autopsy on 15 year old British tourist Scarlett Eden killing. In this report, panel of doctors have clearly opined that subdivisional magistrate oblique investigating officer is requested to investigate the case as homicidal in nature. So this is the opinion given by doctor and accordingly police has registered the case and investigated. After completion of the second autopsy, the medical team in their report has still maintained that the victim died due to drowning but found no bruises and abrasions on her body. The first post-mortem report has indicated that only five bruises on the corpse of the victim while the second report indicates around 50 bruises indicating that Scarlett was first assaulted before being drowned. However, the second report is silent on the issue of rape as due to formalization after the first autopsy report hardening of the genitalia has occurred. However, viscera is preserved to be sent for chemical analysis. The police top brass has removed PSI Nerlon Albuquerque of the investigation and has directed police inspector Braz Menezes to investigate the case. Meanwhile, Tourism Minister Miki Pasheko has dashed a letter to the Home Minister Ravi Naik urging him to dismiss PSI Nerlon Albuquerque for allegedly trying up to hush up the case without proper investigation. Tourism Minister has also mentioned in his letter that such officers do not deserve to be in the police department as they give a bad name to the entire state. Pasheko also stated in his letter to the Home Minister that the same police officer was also involved in the Florianzo Diniz murder in 2004 and was suspended from service. Tourism Minister has directed that the case be handed over to the crime branch for proper investigation and all those involved in the case be brought to book. One domestic tourist and a local lost their lives and many were injured in a road accident yesterday evening near Kamal College at Nuwen. According to the minor Kurtorim police, mini bus carrying a troupe from Pilar Music School was proceeding towards Serauli for performance of its play, while a Tamil Nadu registered sumo vehicle was proceeding in the opposite direction at the time of collision. The impact of the collision was so great that the occupant of the sumo Prasad Patil, a resident of Navilim, who is said was acting as guide, was totally disfigured, only his mother could recognize him. Though most of the passengers in both the minibus and sumo suffered injuries, the sumo bore the testimony of the collision. Even before the police and the fire services could arrive at the spot, people had started the rescue operations. We have Goa that was coming up after the break. Stay with us. Good evening, you are watching Goa 365 and I am Nisa Dias here to remind you of the people and event that made news in the week that went by. Last week, the media hyped the death of an 18-year-old tourist from England. This one case not only made rounds in the state, but it also made national and international news. The victim was found dead on the Anjuna beach in a semi-nude form and her mother arrived and rocked the state saying that there was foul play in her daughter's death. Naturally, Union Minister for Tourism Ambika Soni was under pressure from the media to answer embarrassing questions like whether Goa is safe tourist destination any longer. Hence, the best thing she did was order the Chief Minister of Goa, Digambar Kamath, to look into the matter. And as usual, Chief Minister who does not have a no in his dictionary agreed to it. Worse still, Fiona Makino, mother of the victim, directly approached the Chief Minister of Goa, bypassing the Inspector General of Police, Director General of Police, Home Secretary and even Home Minister, 
we know that our aam aadmi chief minister is very accessible but this is stretching things a bit too far and our chief minister got personal also and promised the victim's mother that he would monitor the investigation as if the victim was his own daughter this is totally unacceptable as last week itself 12 year old girl was raped what is the cm doing about it will he get personally involved to see that the accused get convicted there are so many undetected murders in the state one